Okay, we're on the road. Up by the lighthouse. We're on the road now. We're going to head over towards Brandy Creek. This is a lovely little beach. I haven't taken you there yet. In fact, I've only been there once myself. So, uh, here we go. Here we are. We've pulled off the highway. We're heading down to Brandy Creek Beach. So this is not ideal territory for the Saab. But we came down here yesterday. It's not too bad. But unfortunately we came down and Diane got crook. So we had to turn around and go back before we'd even got to the beach. Just a bit disappointing. So I thought, oh, I'll come again. In the morning, beautiful. I'll keep the camera going because you never know, we might find a yowie. Because they do exist, you know, for sure. And Sasquatch. Can't you see? Listen to all the reports. Those people are not lying. I've never seen one. What was that noise? I've never seen one, but they do exist. And they're strange creatures, as I understand it. From all the reports, and I've listened to a lot. As I put my um, podcast on my phone at night, or my computer, <coughs> and listen to Sasquatch reports. I've been doing it now for years, so I've heard almost everything there is to do with Sasquatch. You know, I'm up to date with everything that's been released. But um, some of the common things that are reported are the fact that uh, this Sasquatch, uh, the way they move, it's like they glide. The heads don't bob around very fast. They take huge strides, six foot strides. So it takes them three steps to move across a road. This is the same as people say the same thing about Yowies over here. Very strong, incredibly strong. I listened to uh, Wes Germer from the um, Sasquatch Chronicles. He's fantastic. I really like Wes Germer. I really like him. So, if you're ever bored, have a listen to Sasquatch Chronicles. You won't be disappointed. Now, here we are. We're down at the beach. Okay. Here we are. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that lovely cow. That's a beautiful cow. I really like it. Drives beautiful. It's only got 100,000 clicks on it. One lady owner. I think I've told you all that. I think there's a house up there. Brandy Creek Beach. Oh, look at this. So it's early in the morning. I'm not sure what time it is. It's about 8 o'clock. And this is a nice beach. Oh, this has been eaten away. I hurt my camera. I brought my cannon as well. There's a house up there. Bloody power line, I can't remember that. I remember the power line. How can on earth can that grow there? I can't grow a veggie. And this grows on sand. So you can see where we are. I'll show you on the map. 
What a beautiful rocks. That's a lovely beach. Might pop the drone up. Get an aerial shot. Isn't it lovely? Beautiful. Let's go and have a look at these rocks in the morning sun. There's another house up there. So there's a house on either side of this beach. I remember now. Lovely. Look at that formation. I like that. I bet that catches some waves on a high tide. Very interesting. Look at those colours. I don't know what they are, I'm colourblind. I can see they're beautiful. Okay. We'll find a place to settle down. I'll spark the drone up. That's um, Quarantine Bay over there. That's where they launch the boats from. Where those cars are. There's quite a few there. There's a fishing competition go going on. $50,000 prize. $50,000 for a fishing competition. Gee willikers. It's only a small town. Where did they get the money? <sighs> okay. The only thing I've got to watch out for is those power lines. Fly low over the waves.
Beautiful, lovely low flights. Where is it? I can't even see it. There it is. Hello, Sparky. Do you see my uh, camouflage clothes? I've got a camouflage hat as well, but I couldn't see it. Hello, Sparky. Okay, let's do an aerial shot. I should have done one of those uh, rockets. I'll just do it manually. I'll take it up to uh, 400 feet. Beautiful. I've got the screen record going, but I'm not talking. I should talk more. I probably talked enough this morning. With my ranting. Ranting? Ranting, ranting? I don't know. Here we are, maximum altitude. Maximum altitude. And here we are. The beautiful. Twofold Bay, Surum Brandy Creek, and that's Boytown Beach. I okay. think. I haven't got my orientation. Yeah, that's Boytown Beach. So we'll look around, we'll see uh, Boyd's Tower. There it is. Should be down there. There's my house. That's not my house. I'm just a happy renter. A very lucky renter. Isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Bring it down. Am <coughs> <coughs> I recording? Shit, I'm not even recording. You telling me I didn't I did all that flying I didn't record it. That's alright, I'll do it again. What a dickhead. Well, I've got my uh, screen record, but that's not good enough. I see it. I did some lovely low flying then over the beach, over the waves. It's a shame. I'll do it again. Go lower.
How low can I get? <laughs> Can't get much lower than that. They don't want it to land. Lovely. Low wave flying. And some more waves. I like this low wave flying here. It's running out of battery now, so I'll bring it back. Let's see if we can get some more waves. It's going to return to home shortly. I thought we'd have a look at Quarantine Bay on the way home. See, $50,000 fishing competition, game fishing tournament. So we might as well have a look with them past. Do, 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 do. So there's the uh, Bundyan Way, the end of the Bundyan Way, well, part of the Bundyan Way. There, which we sh should go and have another look at because they might have put some signs up. Do you remember the last time I walked up there? All the regulars. So here we are. I was going to stop in there. See that? See that? Um, see those cabins on the beach? Well, there's a nice little beach with the tide out. I'd never really noticed that. But that's where. <laughs> See where those cabins are? I actually I've flown over there and I didn't record. Silly bugger. But we stayed in one of those cabins when we very first came to Eden. And it, they're right on the beach. Right. And it's just, it was just heaven. I've never been in a place like that before. They were cheap, you know. It was cheap, we were off season. Slightly off season, it was still hot though. And uh, we got one of those cabins. And well, what I remember was um, I had a bottle of whiskey and some Coke. Like, and I don't drink whiskey normally. I like it in coffee. But um, it was in the middle of the day. It was hot, and I was I had a couple of whiskeys and I was a bit drunk, you know. And I don't think I've ever been on a beach in the sun while I've been drunk before. And it was a a singular experience. It's 
there's quite a few cars here for the fishing competition. Few boats out. We're gonna have a look if there's any um, rays. Do, 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 do. This is where they kill the fish. Hello, birds. Any rays here? You are pretty relaxed, aren't you? Pretty relaxed. Everything's relaxed. It's okay, take it easy. Well, someone's been cutting fish up, so... Hello, cormorant. How are you going? Are there any rays about? There's no need to make a splash. Pelican. Oi! Hmm. They're not very talkative today. Hello, you two. What's going on? So that's, uh, that's John's old boat. As you may know from one of my past videos. Don't see any rays. here. $50,000. Good God. But like I, I think I said before, that's not for catching fish. That's a raffle. And my friend Flea, he won that about three years ago. And it was a boat. The prize was a boat. I think it's a $35,000 speedboat. Fishing boat. And flea won it and he didn't catch a single fish. So there you go. Attention all vessels. For your safety, please log on and off with the Marine Rescue Eden clear of the breakwater on VHF channel 16 or channel 88 on the 27 megahertz band. Look at that. That lazy seagull. What do you mean lazy? I've been flying since the Antarctic, in the Antarctic. So I thought I'd have a look at Cattle Bay while we're here, as we're driving past. It's okay. You're safe with me. I'm a vegetarian. I don't think I'll put the drone up there. I've only got two batteries left. So, you know, I walked over there. You've seen that beach. Oh, look at this. Wow. Wow. Oh, who's going to land in? We've seen that beach and we didn't know what it was called. I think it's called Bungo Beach. And round the corner is what we call Range Rover. It's known as Keith's Pinch for some obscure reason. But its proper name is Wirica Beach, we believe. Not entirely sure. And over there is the uh, chip mill. You can see the piles of wood chips where they uh, export Australia's trees to Japan. Where they turn it into paper and we buy it back. It's a great idea. Boydtown Beach. Anyway, I'm going to keep going now. And I'm going to go to um, Cattle Bay. I think. Cattle Bay, look at the size of that pelican. That is a big pelican. That's probably about, that's probably easy three foot high, three foot tall, just sat there. Probably a bit taller. Let's go and say hello. See if you'll talk to Ashton. I should drone him. Hello, pelican. Never stand underneath the pelican. I think they can, uh, they can do enormous amounts of squirty poo, which stinks. I think probably about five kilograms 
and they can aim it. And they do. That's a beautiful one. Look at the colour of its breast. I just said that so I could say breast. Cattle Bay. And as you know, as you may or may not know, that was the old cannery. It was, I think it was called, first of all, the Green Seas Cannery. Could be wrong here. And then, I'm pretty sure it was a Heinz Cannery at some point. There's gonna be houses here soon. There's some people on that yacht mucking about. Looks like they're salvaging it. Looks like a bloody old wreck. For centuries off the Australian coast, salmon have swum unsought and uncaught. Today they're the basis of a new industry. Sane trawlers like the Pamela Star put out from Eden on the south coast of New South Wales and there's always a good haul. Trawling's tough on the salmon. Even the little ones don't get away. Not while the mollyhawks are about to stick their beaks in. Flathead and other good fish are turned into cutlets. They're aboard and just in time. Birds only take the little ones. Sharks would take the lot. Trawlers go out each day, returning with holes crammed with fish. Larger boats may stay at sea three or four days. Back at Eden, they lose no time getting the fish out into special trucks. There aren't enough trawlers or salmon to cope with the demand, so speed is essential. Trucks transport the fish direct to Australian Fishing Industries Cannery, opened early this year. Salmon, fresh from the sea, go straight into cans. Lack of equipment is hampering production, but machinery installed is designed for speed. Scales mean a short wait here, but customers don't complain. The electric scalers are speedy and efficient. And then salmon completely lose their heads. You'd need a remarkable machine to keep pace with this fellow. Cleaning's done in a twinkling. Just remember this technique when next you go fishing. He learned the trick in Canada. Salmon are then thoroughly washed before being cut to fit the cans. This novel machine cuts every piece to the same size, and rich salmon steaks are ready for another washing before they go into tins. Salmon aren't touched again through the entire canning process. Girls wear rubber gloves as they push the fish into cans. This still doesn't explain how they get sardines to lie down so nicely. The industry isn't able to fulfill the demand in New South Wales, but its output is increasing. Speedy packing and cooking in this automatic cooker enables canning to go on throughout the year. Lids are put on after cooking, and then cans are sterilized. Canned salmon is rolling off the Eden assembly line at the rate of 60,000 tins every week. That's a great start for an industry only in its infancy. Even labeling is automatic in this cannery where the demand is always greater than the supply. Salmon ready to serve on Australian tables. Up till this year, all our canned salmon has been imported. Dollar restrictions help another Australian industry to get off to a flying start. Lovely, eh? It's a beautiful morning. Peaceful, quiet. The only thing that disturbs it is my talking, my constant chatter. There used to be a boat buried here, but it's probably still there. A little dinghy. So I think I'll fly underneath there. I mean, it's not very difficult. And I'll do it anyway. Just for a laugh. Let me see if I can do some high speeds under there. Beautiful. I've brought you under here before. Oh look, that's good flying. Under there. I might give it a go.
No, I didn't record last time. What an idiot. So I'll record this time. Here we go. Good fun, eh? It's moving up and down a bit. Make sure it doesn't crash into that pipe. See? What was that about? Went up by itself. Going up and down a bit, I don't know why. Anyway, let's take some, uh, let's have a look at this beautiful pier. I think a funny noise coming from it. Can you hear that? Doesn't sound right. It's making a t Sand. Should be right, mate. Cattle Bay. A lot of people used to work here years ago. It's one of the main employers in the town. What's that noise? I hear someone shouting. They're scraping. Down amongst the yachts. It's all line of sight, don't worry. What are these blokes doing? Do, do, do. Flying around the boats. Do, 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 do. Cattle Bay. It's going to be a lovely place to to live one day. Right, it says two point four meters. Well, this isn't really challenging, is it? Flying under here. Where are we? Get down. Down. It started going up by itself then. Did you see that? They're moving by itself too. Accelerated. Accelerated by itself. So if I go back and up, it's down. Pretty cool. Let's do a sideways. Mm 
There's trees there, so I better be careful. What's that pole? Let's have a look at it. That wasn't very neat. Quite a good shot. Okay. Got a sporty flying. Sporty flying. Wee! There's a nice little rock gap. Maybe I'll swing through there. That's Kokora Beach. Kogra. As they call it. I'll go back to GPS. I'll come through that. Uh, come through that rock gap. This phone's so tiny, you can't... I can't see shit. Having some weeing around time. Gotta oh, watch I don't hit some masts. These steps. Go over that one. Got my room there. How high am I? I should be able to see it anywhere. I'm low. <laughs> I can see the water being disturbed. Hi, how you going, mate? I'm having great fun. Very good, how are you? Let me get you on my drone. See who I'm talking to. It's going up and down by itself at the moment. I don't know why. There you go. Yep, it's filming you now. And within a couple of hours, you're going to be on YouTube. Oh, huge ones. Yeah, careful. They'll pull you in. Really? I haven't seen one of them here. Have a good day. There's some sharks here though. 
Yeah. We just be the old cannery, you know. The sharks, the sharks can remember it because they're pretty smart. So don't go swimming. Hang on. Come on down. Sorry? Really? Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. The perfect killing machine. <laughs> no, I'm not getting in. It's a shame, it's a nice day for a swim. Yeah. Have a good day. You've painted up your lips and rolled and curled your tinted hair. Ruby, are you contemplating going out somewhere? The shadow on the wall tells me the sun is going down. It wasn't me that started that old crazy Asian war But I was proud to go into my patriotic chore And yes, it's true that I'm not the man I used to be some company It's hard to love a man whose legs have been paralyzed And the wants and the needs of a woman your age really I realize But it won't be long I've heard them say until I'm not around now cuz i just heard the slamming of the door the way i know i've heard it slam 100 times before and if i could move i'd get my gun and put her in the ground Sakes, turn around. office you can see him arrive he stands six foot two and weighs 195 now some don't like him some think he's hip but all agree he gives a lot of lip big don big don big don big bad don the donald big don now it's no secret where the money came from he appeared on the scene with a mighty sum he doesn't smoke, never had a drink, but about that hair, his barber stinks, Big Don. Now the road to the White House is muddy and rough. If you want to win, you got to talk tough. Lay your cards on the table, think with your gut, make America great. Who cares if you're a nut, Big Don? Big Don, 
Big Don, Big Bad Don, Big Don. Then came the day of the big debate. He was number one. Must have been fate. Bush was praying, so was Cruz. Trump got applause, they got booed, except Don. Then Megan Kelly stepped up to the plate. She asked Big Don, is it women you hate? Don just smiled, said, it's not true. Maybe Rosie O'Donnell, but certainly not you. Big Don, Big Bad Don, Big Don. Well, he came out a winner, went up in the polls. People love this guy, the young and the old. Will he stay on top? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, he's gonna raise some hell, Big Don. Got his own jet plane, plays golf all day, rolls on like a tank, nothing gets in his way. He's got swagger and juice, tries to play fair. Now, if he just do something with that frickin' hair. Big Don. Big Don, Big Bad Don, Big Don. Now there's a long, long time till that November date. Who knows what'll happen? We'll just have to wait. But this I can say without a doubt. This guy has got a big, big mouth. Big Don. Big Don, Big Don. Big Bad Don, Big Don, Trump Tower, Big Don, Trump Resorts, Big Don, Trump Golf, Big Don, Mr. President, Big Don. Well, the Democrats say that he can't never win. The Republicans will let another lip roll in. His hair is kind of funny, but he knows where he's been. Said that little Marco ain't my friend. He's got a billion dollars in his own stakes, too. Ain't too many things old Trump can't do. He looks out for people working nine to five And a Trump boy can't survive Trump boy can't survive He knew what shape this country would be Without freedom and liberty So we got on TV, said vote for me I know you all really love me He can build a resort out of a rundown dive And a Trump boy can't survive A Trump boy can't survive Yeah Because you can't shut him out and you can't make him run He's licensed to carry and he's got a loaded gun Gonna build a wall, so yes, sir, and ma'am, if you ain't in the dead, we don't give a damn. He came from New York City to South Alabama and little towns all around this land. And his hair is kind of golden like inside a beehive, but a Trump boy can survive. Trump boy can survive. Well, he had a good friend named Ben Carson. I think he was raised around Detroit, Michigan. He went to school to fill the doctor plan. Trump went to school to be a businessman. But they didn't like Carson because he was a Christian. So Trump says I'll cost some division. Well, 
The next thing you know, well, the GOP's hot. They start hitting Trump with all they've got. Well, they'd like to spit some beach nut McConnell's eyes. Cover him with a thousand flies, but a Trump boy can't survive. Trump boy can't survive. Because you can't shut him out and you can't make him run He's licensed to carry and he's got a loaded gun He's gonna build a wall, so yes sir and ma'am You ain't in the that would don't give a damn There's still time to get out and vote The truck train's in hyper mode And he's gonna make America great again Cause a Trump boy can't survive A Trump boy can't survive A Trump boy can't survive Trump boy can't Twisted stars that plotted lines, the faulty map that brought Columbus to New York. Betwixt between the east and west, he calls on her wearing a leather vest, the earth squeals and shudders to a halt. A diamond crucifix in his ear is used to help word off the fear that he has left his soul in someone's rented car. Inside his pants, he hides a mop to clean the mess that he has dropped into the light of lightsome Juliet Bell. And Romeo wanted Juliet And Juliet wanted Romeo And Romeo wanted Juliet And Juliet wanted Romeo Romeo Rodriguez squares his shoulders and curses Jesus runs a comb through his black ponytail He's thinking of his lonely room The sink that by his bed gives off a stink Then smells her perfume in his eyes And her voice was like a bell Outside the streets were steaming The crack dealers were dreaming Of a Uzi someone had just scored I bet you I can hit that light with my one good arm behind my back, says little Joey Diaz. Brother, give me another tote. Those downtown hoods are no damn good. Those Italians need a lesson to be taught. This copy died in Harlem. You think they get the warning? I was dancing when I saw his brains run out on the street. And Romeo had Juliet. And Juliet had her Romeo. And Romeo had a Juliet And Juliet had a Romeo I'll take Manhattan in a garbage bag with Latin rin on it that says It's hard to give a shit these days Manhattan sinking like a rock Until the filthy Hudson, what a shock They wrote a book about it, they said it was like ancient Rome The perfume burned his eyes Holding tightly to her thighs and something flickered for a minute And then it vanished and was gone Living in a shotgun shack and 
you may find yourself in another part of the world, and you may find yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile, and you may find yourself in a beautiful house with a beautiful wife, and you know, you may say to yourself, well, how did I get here? yourself what is that beautiful house you may ask yourself where does that highway go to you may ask yourself am i right am i wrong and you may say to yourself my god what have have i done done? You know, it is, uh, it's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. <laughs>